to demonstrate washing out tomato seed that has been fermented for 24 hours with pectic enzyme. Make sure you get it close. Though. So the first phase is to add water to the fermented pulp. Let it settle and pour off the super dainty. You lose a little bit of seed, but not too much. You can see. Get nice clean seed. You can see there's no gel left on that seed whatsoever. That's what pectic enzyme. Basically three rinses. Very clean seed. Okay. So now we're going to wash out one that was fermented without pectic enzyme. seed that I got is fairly clean. I can still kind of feel a little bit of sliminess on it, more so than with the pectic enzyme extracted seed. And although we started out with exactly the same amount of seed pulp, you can see that I've ended up with less seed. So, here we have the seed that was extracted with pectic enzyme and if you feel that, it feels very dry. We've squeezed the, the water out using paper towels. On this one extracted with no pectic enzyme, you can feel a very slippery, slimy feel to the seed and it really sticks to your finger because of that. But we're going to dry it anyway. So obviously this is much cleaner with no pectic substances left on the seed, whereas this still has pectin left on the surface of the seed. It's not totally dissolved off. And that's with a full 24 hours of fermentation at 27 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to air dry this so it's exactly the same as what you have, say, in India or China. Okay, so what we have here is a seed after having been dried for about six hours in the sun after we washed it out. So you can see the pectic enzyme extracted seed is quite crumbly, easily separated. You can see like that. Very nice, clean. You can separate it very easily. The fermentation only without the pectic enzyme has stuck together. So you can actually pick it up. It's like pieces of paper. And it sticks together. It's not that easy to get single seeds out of that. It takes a lot more work because that's because of the slight residue of pectic substances. Pectic substances on the surface of the seed making it stick. You can get some that are pretty hard to break apart like that one there you really have to crush it it does come apart but that's proof that the seed is not totally clean after trying to wash it out plus that's really hard I really have to squeeze that and that's what leads to doubles and that's very hard when you go to treat it to get that separated 
so that you can get a good seed treatment. So it has a lot of implications apart from just getting a good recovery of seed. Okay. This is much nicer seed here. So here is the 48 hour fermentation and you can see that there is still quite a bit of seed sticking together. So it is not, you can pick that up in big clumps. It's, it does come apart but it is not as clean or as separated as the pectic enzyme treated seed even after 48 hours of fermentation it requires quite a bit of rubbing to get that seed singulated so my conclusion is even though you can get the seed washed out fairly well with 48 hours of fermentation there's still advantages even then with the pectic enzyme. So this is the 72 hour fermentation dried in the sun for about six seven hours and you can see again the seed sticks together quite a lot even after 72 hours now it does crumble quite easily but it just it shows that even after 72 hours of fermentation there is still some residue on that seed which lets it stick together. You can pick it up in little, little clumps. So there is still good justification you know when you got lumps like that for uh, using the pectic enzyme.